BetUS.com, where the game begins. Go ahead and check it out. NCAAF 2021 is your promo code, 125% deposit bonus. There is a link in the description. Make sure that you go ahead and check that out. It is a sportsbook exclusive deposit bonus. So all right. of that money is going directly to betting on sports. You don't have to spend any of it at an a online blackjack table, anything like that. It's just going to sports, baby. You can bet on football with all that money. So go ahead and dive in. These are the odds. We are rolling with them. The Houston Texans win total sits at four. To go over is plus 120 or 115. Excuse me. Swapped it up on me. To go under is minus 145. To win the division, they are number four in that spot, plus 2,000. To win the AFC, don't make that bet. Don't make that bet. Plus 10,000. <laughs> Any amount you want to put on it. To make the playoffs, plus 650. To not make the playoffs is minus 1,200. They are not going to make the playoffs this year. I can I can almost guarantee it. They are a projected favorite in zero games. There's not one single game on the schedule where they are favored. They have the second most difficult schedule in the league based on projected win totals. That's tough. That's tough. Five overs, two unders the last seven years. 2020, of course, was an under. They have the worst roster in the NFL. They did not make any big moves. It kind of makes you wonder if they are in a tank situation. David Culley, NFL assistant for 27 years. This is his first head coaching job. Lovey Smith, former Illinois head coach, former Chicago Bears head coach, is the defensive coordinator. Uh, even with a 4-12 and record, Deshaun Watson had 112.4 passer rating. That was second in the league behind Aaron Rodgers. I, I don't know how you can be that good on that bad of a team unless the roster is just as awful as, as it was. The schedule includes the NFL West, the Browns, and the Chargers. This team went 2-8 and eight in one-score games last year. I mean, it was it was putrid. Tyrod Taylor uh, looks to be the starter for this team. I, I don't think they're going to start the rookie right off the bat, their third-round guy, Davis Mills, out of Stanford. But uh, Tyrod Taylor's going to start. He is 56th out of 62 quarterbacks in EPA per play since 2018. Mm, not ideal. Not ideal. They have no proven playmakers. They have an old running back room. The defense is abysmal. I... You don't like to go under a four, but I don't. I can't find four wins. I can't. No. I can't get them there. Nope. Me neither. When we talked about the Lions, let me tell you something. We talked about is it possible that they could go zero and seventeen? I I think the Lions would be a four point five point favorite against this Texans team in a neutral site field. Yes. If those two strapped it up and played in Vegas, I I think the Lions are not a touchdown favorite, but they're more than a field goal. Yes. Yes, I agree, a hundred percent. I really, I really think that line seems a lot better than this team. This might be one of the worst rosters I've ever seen. I mean, I'm not kidding. It's it is as bad as we are making it out. I mean, I, I can't even, I can't. It's they're really bad at football. I think they're going to struggle to get a win. And it is it is a crying shame because when you look at what this team was, I mean, they, they were up two years ago in the playoffs on. On the Chiefs in the Chiefs Super Bowl year, twenty four yeah. to nothing at Kansas City, and and that is as that much as we like to this. make fun of him. They had a real, legitimate, bona fide head coach, and they had maybe the second best quarterback in football. They yes. probably had at that time the best receiver in football. So a lot of things were different at that. But they also had several big time, big time defensive players. A lot of things has changed in the last. Two and a half, three years. So let me ask you this. This is a weird question. I haven't put any thought into this until just now because it just came to my head. Let's say Deshaun Watson. Watson. I want to. <laughs> Sherlock fucking Holmes, man. Deshaun Watson decides, you know what? I want to be traded, but I'm really bored, and I want to play football. And I know this team's shit, but I'm going to finish the season out. They're on four. How many games do you think they can win? You put him in there. Same roster. He didn't get anybody else. Yeah. I mean, two, three. I mean, they only, I won, they say, only won four games last year. If if he if he still plays all 17, I still don't think I can get to four. I, and no. then knock on him. I think, and I've told you this, I think he's the second best quarterback in football. Yes. Yes, I, I think he's really, really good. He I also just, I just don't a, think he's I don't think he's magic, man. I just don't. But no, and but and that would also be expecting him to come in in pristine physical condition well, yeah. uh, I'm, right I'm off the bat. Like, and I'm assuming, I'm assuming he does all that. I, it, he comes in peak shape. Nothing wrong, nothing flawless, but you have this roster. 
they're still with the second best player in the world that plays the most important position in the world. It's still the worst roster I might have ever seen. It's it's really bad. This, this it's appears, really bad. Th- so my question before was: Is this a tank situation? Well, I, but I don't think I don't think anybody's trying to lose any games. I just no. think they're really bad at it. Well, it, yes, I do agree with that. But I, I also wonder if this is part of the reason why they hired David Cully, right? Like they know that they are in a bad position as far as the roster is concerned. Now I'll tell you this: You know how much that stuff pisses me off because Steve Wilkes got to treat it like this in Arizona. And he's never re- recovered from it. Oh, of course. But now, I think, David, David I think Cully, Steve Wilkes could make a good head coach. And he got, he literally got railroaded at Arizona. He was hired for one purpose to lose. He lost because they gave him no roster whatsoever. And then they, they, they fired him. They, they held yeah. the record against him. And he had to go and take that Browns job, which uh, yeah. that, that roster was not built to succeed at that point. Oh, no, that, no and, well, the Browns were a complete shit show at that time. Yeah. No, they were a disaster. They were a laughing stock. Well, I mean, that was, what was he? He was Freddie Kitchen's defensive coordinator, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. So, and so he took that job. Oh, no, that was he, a joke. And then he was out of football for a year. And now right. it's Missouri's defensive coordinator. That was, like he's was back a, in college. That's the most, that's the most stable job he's had in five years. Yeah, and he's he still probably got roster issues at Missouri, but but still, yes, I just, I, I just agree. Th- this is this is what happens if you hire a guy to take losses. Like it's almost impossible for them to recover from that. But I, I do wonder if if maybe nobody else would take the job because they didn't know what was going on with Deshaun Watson. Oh, I, and, and I don't this think is, anybody else took I, the job. No, I, the Deshaun Watson stuff I don't think happened until after the job was already been filled, right? Yeah, but I, you you got to imagine. Or the job was open, not yeah, filled, but open. It was open, but I, I'm wondering I, about David Culley and and did so forget the Deshaun Watson stuff. Just look at how bad the roster is. It, that's right. Did, well, and Culley, it's ownership. Cully, I don't think people want to play for that owner. Yeah, Cully, 27-year assistant coach, had never really been brought up for jobs. Now, he nope. had some guys that were in his corner for sure. sure. But did you ever hear him bring like be no. brought up for another job? No. Like This seems like, the okay, this guy's an NFL lifer. Yep. He's never really had this opportunity. We'll give him his opportunity. And, he'll be, and I'll tell you this. He'll be paid handsomely for what he's doing. Yes. But if everybody who says they're tanking, yes – but in three years from now, when he's looking for a job, everybody's going to throw his resume out there, and they're going to show this awful record, and they're going to say, look how bad of a head coach he was. Yeah. When, when, when that record is not real, that record is not true, that record does not reflect his coaching ability, I hate that stuff. You know that. Oh, it yeah. bothers me. It bothers me badly that we bring guys in for the sole purpose of tanking, and then we hold that record against them forever. Context matters. Yes, it always it, does. 100%. Context matters. I got this team going under. I, it, you know, I, I do records for everybody. I gave them two wins. I got no idea who. Maybe they win a home game against the Jags. Maybe they win a home game against the Colts. Maybe they win a home game against the Titans because it's a divisional game. I don't know. I, I gave them two wins because I don't like having anybody go blanked. But but I think this is the worst team in the NFL. I think so. It's been way too long so talking about well. the worst team in the NFL. Sorry, that's, some that's on me. Hey, we're we're diehards. Like we we just love the sport. So if there's something interesting to talk about, well, I I I feel bad for the coaching situation here because I, just, I feel bad for the play. I feel bad for the entire thing because it was so. Poorly I don't feel run. bad for the players. Players always get a second chance if they're good enough. Yeah, no, it doesn't true. matter how good of a head coach you yeah, are. Yeah, but it, it, losing still sucks this no matter what. Him. Like it, losing sucks no matter what. Like it, this oh, is a, a year of a player's life that's that's gone, right? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.